Hello there, and welcome back to Metroid Dread. In the last video, we got the power bomb and got up to the final boss, uh, and then did a bunch of exploration. We actually completed 100% of items in Dairon, Berenia, Gavarin, Ellen, Ferenia, and Hanubia. Iterash doesn't have any items. Well, I want to point out, I think it's really funny that Iterash is so far above Hanubia. It's because it's his ship floating above the planet. But it also reminds me of, I think it's Mega Man 9, where Wily's castle is ridiculously comically tall. But in this one, we're going to finish off Collection and Cataris and Arteria, and then go on to the final boss fight. First, though, I got to change my controls. Because once again, I forgot. No. Ah. All right, there we go. So, where do I want to start in Cataris? I want to get uh, both of. Come on. No. Both of these. Go over here. Over here. Over here. God, there's a lot. This is easily the area with the most parts to collect. Parts, items. Well, I can't actually... I don't have enough things to mark everything. Uh, I actually want to head up to this area first. And then I think I'm going to go down to Crate. That's my plan, at least. We're at... Two, wait, no, no, no. Not that way. Uh... There still might be some teleporters I haven't act activated. After I get all the items... I'll look around and decide if there's other random stuff I want to do. You know, since I'm right here, I don't want to forget to go for this, so I am going to do that first. But... Oh, this is another thing you could probably speed boost up, although I don't know if you could actually get up diagonally and then up again. I kind of want to try, and I do have enough space for that, so... Uh, maybe like right here? This is a complete waste of time, but I'm really curious. Ah, oh, no, I don't think so. But as you might have seen on my home screen there, uh, I've been playing Pikmin 1 and 2. Well, 1 specifically. I haven't finished 1 on the Switch yet. They just came out. Uh, what? yesterday, because that's when the direct happened. And I've already played through most of Pikmin 1 again. And I mean, I, I love Pikmin. I don't think I've ever talked about Pikmin so far in a Let's Play. Maybe I have. Maybe I've mentioned, because Pikmin 4 is a game I am very much looking forward to. That's uh, one of the upcoming games that I'm most excited about. This is Orange. Oh, this goes... Oh! Sure. There's no reason to do this exactly. I'm just going to be heading right back, but this is technically an area we haven't been to in Gavarin. It just doesn't have anything. It's a decent teleportal. Well, not really, because once they're all connected, then you can... You, this is completely unnecessary, because the green one is easier to get to. But I love Pikmin. I'm actually considering doing Pikmin next, instead of any of the other ones I was talking about. And I really might... Because now would also be a good time to do Pikmin, because uh, 1 and 2 just came out on Switch, and 3 comes out. Or 3 is already out. 4 comes out uh, July 24th? I don't remember what the actual day is. I know there's nothing else to get above here, but I do want to at least fill that out. Even though I just said in the last video that I'm not going to worry about that. But whatever, it's fine, it's fine. I'm also going to use my amiibo. I have them up here next to me on my desk. Uh, they're pretty cool. The Emmy amiibo especially is pretty cool. Uh, the Samus one is... It's cool. It's just the white parts of the plastic look really kind of cheap to me, and her hand looks like a cheap 
like McDonald's toy to me. It's interesting that that's not directly level with it. Thirst. Oh, there's an item here. I was wrong. Glad I did come here. Uh, usually the grapple walks the attack attack at evenly. Like at level whatever. You get it. I don't need to explain. But there's so many things coming out that it's 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 a lot for me to try to do. Right now I'm playing through Spider-Man still uh, to prepare for Spider-Man 2. Uh, I'm playing through Age of Calamity because I wanted to do that before going back to Tears of the Kingdom. After Spider-Man, I wanted to play Miles Morales. There's nothing to do down here. Uh, Secret Invasion just started. It's a show I'm excited about. Uh... Final Fantasy 16 just came out today. That's another thing I'm excited for. Uh, oh, it must be... Come on. Down here. Right? Where is the item? Oh, down there. Okay. Yeah, I think that was already visible, right? Yeah, that wasn't a breakable block. I think I just straight up wasn't seeing it. Uh, this is a cool time to go check out Kraid's room. We actually haven't been back. Oh, but we can't break that. We gotta go around from the right side. Wait, are those? Oh, those little slug things there. Weird. I don't think I've ever noticed them before. Uh, I think the only way to break this actually is with the wave beam since it, you can't use the pseudo-wave. Uh, and I don't think there's a way to get it with the fusion beam. I love this room. As I mentioned, uh, Kraid disappears after a while, and even if you fight Kraid, and I might have mentioned this too, his spike here disappears. I did mention it. It's fine. I like the dome here. It's just a fun shape to the room. And obviously, this is the uh, Kraid quick kill bomb slot thing. I didn't do the quick kill in this file, but I guess I did break it. Might as well do this. Yeah. Rather than floundering around trying to figure it out. Pikmin... If I did Pikmin, though, it'd probably just be Pikmin 1 because two would take a long time to get through. And I don't know that I want to do any game right now that would take that long. Uh, with Pipkin 1, I'd probably do two days per video, maybe three even. If I did three, it'd only be like a five video series. Uh, or six, probably to show the optional bosses. It's actually a really good question. Uh, we can go over here, by the way. I don't think we can do anything from this side. We can see that speed boost, and we could have broken that. But we need to clear that to get through. Uh, and it's, I don't think it's possible to do a pseudo-wave to get that. If it were up against a wall, it would be. I already got that, yeah. Well, I might as well go up here. What is over here? Oh, it's this room. I remember this room. I used to come through here. Obviously. When I don't know the world, I would I explored everything. When I didn't, whatever. I feel like I used to come through here a lot for some reason. I'm not sure. Uh, we can open that door from this side to get in. You can see uh, either robot chozos being built in the background, or those are like uh, mechanized suits for chozos to wear. Oh, it's a good thing I broke the bottom one, because now I can just come through like this. I don't think I have done that before. I've always gone around, which is just unnecessary. 
Yeah, nice. Much smoother. I think that's the last energy part. Because uh, we're now at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. Could have just looked right here. We're at 11 energy tanks. Uh, so we're missing just one that's not through the amiibo. And I think it is a full energy tank. I don't know. This is my first 100% run in months. Yeah, there's this, this. I have more markers available to me now, so I can mark things. I think that's it. We, we've doubled our percentage almost. Oh, there's this too. This isn't the way I wanted to go. Yeah, I'll go left. By the way, we can now kill these things. Okay, never mind. I thought we could kill it with just a dash melee. I swear I did in the last video. Uh, if there are multiple types of that enemy, I didn't realize. What's over here? Ah, oh, it's this room. It's weird to come into this room with the space jump. Uh, because the way I always did this before is I would wall jump. Don't think there's anything in the lava. Now, well, I can't go... Well, no, I can't. The thing that I often forget is that while this is closed, there's screw attack blocks right there. I'm just thinking about Pikmin now. Uh... I guess I could do like a Pikmin 4 series as soon as it came out, but I don't want I don't want to do a let's play of my first playthrough of it. Although doing a blind let's play could be interesting. I guess Mega Man and Base is sort of pseudo blind. The closest I've done so far. If I were to do a blind let's play, what would it be? I suppose probably a game that I might not play. If I were like might not play in my own time. So the thing that doesn't interest me as much. Then I probably wouldn't do very well, and it might take forever to get through. That's a really good question. This room is another one that's weird to get through to come this late to. Because uh, a lot of these rooms I just straight up haven't done since I've started to do fast playthroughs. And so, like, it's reminding me of when I used to get 100% every time. And okay, that's done. Well, not entirely, because there actually is a path up in the left here. Just normal breakable blocks, yeah. Is there any other, like, secrets, or is this just a path? I think it's just a path. Ah, oh, it's weird to hit a wide beam thing that I haven't done yet. Not really. I didn't mean to unmorph there. That happened last time, too. I think I'm just pressing up without realizing. I'm gonna guess we're at 82%. Nah, just 80 flat. Crap. Oh, come on. Now I'm thinking of, like, what RPGs I'd want to do. Because there are plenty of RPGs that I love. Kingdom Hearts, I've talked before, could be a fun series, but it would be... a lot. Yeah, it's not quite enough space. Probably just gonna build up from down here. I think that's what I usually do. But I could do... I could go off against the wall. Hmm. Nah, probably not. Because, yeah, I could just do... Oh! Barely made it in time. Jeez. 85%. So we're at 5% per. So I'm missing three still? There's one. There's two. There's three. I found them. 
Now, I think I want to go over to this first. Which I actually can't get to from up here. So no, I'm going this one first. Okay, I know how to get there. Not that way. Ow. Feels weird to do counters on weak enemies at this point. Uh, but there are very few enemies in the game that are... I mean, honestly, there's no enemies in the game that are even a slight challenge at this point. I'm just that powerful now. Uh, and that's just kind of what happens, even though this is hard mode. Aside from the final boss, you might be able to get there with some kind of uh, tricksy frost bomb. Oh, I realize. I haven't gotten the map in Dairon. It doesn't matter, I've filled it out. But that is a thing. I don't think I'm gonna go back for that, but maybe. I don't really wanna charge the Shine Spark in that exact spot. You can't jump while you're transitioning areas. So I have to jump right before the door if I wanna jump when I enter the Emmy zone. Ah, that doesn't really work though. This is so unnecessarily precise, but, like, I want to do it. Now, that, if I can do that, it's a very narrow window, so I might as well just... Oh, I could have made it. Uh, is there a better place to do the run-up? Uh, uh, here, yeah. I think. Come on. Uh, what else? I, I was really happy, actually, with the stuff I was talking about last time. I thought it was a really fun kind of conversation. Oh, that's not breakable. Hmm, that would, that would still work. I just need to come from this side. Oh, uh, this is... Oh, no, 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 this is better. I, I forget, I always try to go from the right there, but it's better to just go from the left. It's not that hard to get through. Still wasn't, like, ideal timing there, but it's fine. 90%! This video is taking actually longer now, because I'm exploring much more slowly here than I was last time. Uh, partly because that one took me several minutes, but mm, this video might be a little long. In which case, I actually might need to record the second half separately, because I don't have a ton of time right now. It is 7.08 a.m. Uh, on June 22nd, the day before this video goes up. I think it's right there. Uh, is it a, another missile one? Yeah. I could just... Well, no, that's a pitfall block, I think. But my I have a class. My ceramics class is at... Uh, well, I need to leave at 8.30 to get there. Oh, and here we go. About to get the last item here. So if, if this gets too close to that, then I'm going to have to pause and just finish recording later tonight. Should be fine. This is actually an item. I realize I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Firebomb tank, in fact. Leaving us just one away from full. I love these spider magnet uh, dropping things. Elevators? I don't know. Oh, my neck is sore. Okay, so. Cat or Artaria now. Go ahead and mark stuff. This this easy one that I just have overlooked several times. Uh, these two. So I, can, I think I want to come from that just to get to those quickly. That one. I mean, all the ones here are easy to get. I've just overlooked them because I haven't done any real exploration in Artaria. 
Oh, here, yeah, here's uh, the last energy tank. I, I just remember that's what that is. Okay, how quickly can I get down to there? Buried. In fact, that's really easy. Well, let's go! Yeah. Might not be the fastest way, but it's similar time. I'm excited to get back to Mega Man and base, though. Uh, I was actually really enjoying the game, and I was making really good progress. All I have left is to do the Wily stages, or the, the King stages, whatever. Although, I, I say that, but I was actually intending to do an entire run with base, and I do think I will. I'll probably just make those videos longer, the same way I did with the Zero run in my runs in my Mega Next series. But I don't think I'm going to switch to doing that as my primary series. I do intend to go back to five videos a week. But I might take another week after this series to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure when the bonus video for this series will go up. It might be quite a while. Hmm. So many things to consider. Yeah, uh, so this is the finale, so... Uh, Monday will be a new series. I'm still not sure which one I want to do. <laughs> I thought I knew. Uh, but I have a few more things to ponder now. Oh, those jets still hurt me? Why? The other jets don't. These are more directed fire, I guess? It is cool to see the lava coming up right here. Because this is right below this hallway. This is a cool little detail to realize. Ooh, 72%. Getting close now. I think I might now have all of them marked. Uh, yeah, I know, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, like, oh yeah, you can even see the room down there. I don't know if I've ever realized that before. Just like how I didn't realize you could do uh, the screw attack before the experiment. Just never occurred to me. <laughs> you try a ball spark up. In fact, I haven't filled that out in this file, so... Sure, might as well. At least some of it. Uh... Yeah, might as well just go straight through here. Yeah. Yeah. Just going the normal path. Spider-Man could also be fun to do a Let's Play of. I didn't, like, mention that last time. But it's sort of an obvious thing. And I don't really have any qualms with that. It wouldn't even take that long to get through. Uh, even 100% wouldn't be, like, unreasonable. It's a decent length game, but it's not long. Secret right here? Where's the secret? Ah, it's this one. This is a one that this is one that I like a lot, actually. Uh, first, I'm gonna grab this one. Final power bomb tank. You're now maxed out on it. This, I can just. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I thought I would charge it there. I didn't press down. You just do this. There are a couple other ways to do this that are, like, weirder, and that's not how I did it the first time. Uh, I don't actually remember how I did, though. I swear I did it differently. Uh, and from here, if we just go down, we can unlock this that got in my way earlier. And this is interesting, because it's the first one you encounter where you don't see it head-on. Obviously, you can just shoot it from the left here, but I think it's more fun to go diagonal. 
how do we get that? Ah. It's just a thing. Lots of really simple ones that I just haven't come back for. Uh, sure. Go down this way. It's always weird just how open the areas are after you kill the Emmy. Why did I come down this way? I'd have to go the long way to get back there. I, I looked at the map, but didn't really look at the map. Oh, uh, now it's closed because I did that. So many considerations with the map that I usually just ignore. I feel like I don't have much to say right now. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm enjoying just going through this. I want to go left first and then come down there. No, because I'll be near the red teleportal if I do this part last. But I'm really surprised that Metroid Zero Mission hasn't come to NSO yet. I'm kind of bummed. I, I was really hoping it would come soon, and whenever it does, it'll be added to my, uh, like, Let's Play backlog. Oh, I don't really have one because I haven't decided it on... I haven't 100% decided what to do next. But after I'm done doing what I'm doing at the time, Zero Mission will be next. I want to do this again because it's fun. That's so cool. Ugh, I just never thought to do all the kind of sliding ball boost, I guess you'd call it, because it's not ball spark. Yeah, there's no reason to go down, because there's nothing down there. Ugh, it's interesting that I keep trying to flash shift through enemies like that does damage. I don't know why, because, like... That's not a thing in any games I can think of, where an air dash deals damage. Uh, aside from, it's probably a Mega Man game where that's the case, but I can't think of an example. Uh, I'm just thinking of the charge kick from Mega Man uh, 5. God, we haven't been here in so long. We go, I go up from here to get that, right? Yeah, it's right there. So I use so many power bombs when it's not necessary, just because I'm impatient and I like I just want to know how it works. I just want to know. Oh, I have to go around now. It's locked. Oh, it's annoying because I have to go to the teleportal and get back. <gasps> I have hiccups. Jesus. Oh, I had tacos a little bit ago. It was very nice. Oh, I haven't done this here. Obviously, I didn't do the pseudo wave in this file. Oh, might as well do that too. Yeah, this, I did not expect to take 30 minutes to get all the items. Just underestimated, I guess. I'm not very good at estimating how long things will take. Uh, I forget that Cataris and Arteria are, like, kind of bigger and more complex than some of the later levels. At least they feel that way. That's right, what I want to do is... This. Yeah. I just remembered that it was speed boost. And we now have all of the energy tanks. I'll go ahead and wait till I have complete 100% before I... Oh, I haven't gotten this. Uh, that's the last item. Uh, before I use my amiibo. I'm glad I actually prepared them here. Uh, I almost forgot to. But I don't really want to have to run downstairs to grab them. Oh, one of my favorite items in the game there. Various suit. I tried to get this much earlier, because if you have enough health, you can just tank it. There we go. 275, 15, and 1299.
Uh, amiibo. How do I do that? Right. You press minus, it's in that screen. Extra energy tank acquired. E energy capacity increased by 100. It also gives you some health back. But I think it refills your health anyway, because it gives you an energy tank. There we go. With all our missiles and energy tanks, we're now maxed out for real. Uh, that is 100% items. And there is... Uh, some rewards for getting that. Uh, you get... Oh my god. That's probably the fastest way to kill myself if I wanted to. Nah. Probably not. But each time you get 100% in an area, you get a new image in the gallery. But I'm gonna go ahead and show that after I beat the game. It'll be a little bonus thing after the end. Uh, I would say I've skipped back there, but I'm already to the teleportal, so... Although, if I do want to go around and do anything else, I'm gonna just look around for a sec and see if there's anything else I want to go do. No, yeah, I think literally the only thing I have any... The only thing of any consequence I haven't done is the map in Dairon. So I will see you there, I guess. And here we are, already. Only took me a couple minutes to get here. And it's not like this is going to show anything interesting on the map. It's just going to add the little background squares. But it is technically a thing I haven't done. So I uh, might as well. Yeah. Entirely pointless. Sure, I'll save. But yeah. Uh, so now I'll see you back at the final boss area in Itarash. Ugh, there is no perfect way to get to Itarash. The the only areas that don't have teleportals are Ellen, Hanubia, and Itarash. And god damn it, I think the best way to get there is to get to the green teleportal and go through all of Hanubia. Bummer. I say all of Hanubia like it's not tiny. And here we are in Itarash, the tiniest not really level in this, the game. Uh, that's actually another thing I've heard people complain about with this game, is that the final area is not really much of an area. But anyone that said that, I assume they're not like big Metroid fans? Because that's a pretty standard thing. Usually the final area in the game is not even really an area, usually it's really tiny. It is usually a bit bigger than this, to be fair, but not by that much. All right, let's go. It's a unique looking elevator. I love the way it fades out and you can see Samus glowing through. Uploading data. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your Photon genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Photon. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machina's enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. 
your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your metro powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Oh, just like most cutscenes in this game, so much just happened. Yes, it's revealed that Samus not only has Thoha DNA, presumably donated by, uh, uh, God, what are their names? The two Samus shown to have raised, the two Samus, two Chozo shown to have raised Samus in the manga. Old Bird and, I don't remember the other one. Here it is on screen. Uh, presumably one of them donated their Thoha genes and then yes Ravenbee donated Makin DNA to Samus that's crazy also Ravenbeak's been impersonating Adam the entire game the only time we've spoken to Adam so far was in the intro cutscene and that's pretty clear in hindsight because you might notice he never once calls her princess or lady sorry princess is anthony he never once says any objections lady he does in the intro but not anymore and that's such a crazy reveal because obviously samus wouldn't be able to like tell that uh he has multiple attacks one of them is this orb that takes four missiles to break He'll do this laser attack that'll cover most of the screen. He can slash at you. He'll do a three attack combo and dash around. When he does this, you want to crouch or morph ball. And several times he'll do counters. Uh, counterable moves that can then enter. A, it's not really a grab sequence, but it is a counter sequence. I like to use the storm missile on him. But when he glows gold by like this, he's invincible. And what I think is really cool is that he's actually using, uh, oh, wait. Oh shit, wings! He's actually using, uh, Aeon abilities. This is the move whose name I don't remember from Samus Returns. He uses his own version of the Flash Shift. Uh, and Lightning Armor is the armor that he had in the first phase. He'll do these dashes that you can slide underneath. Uh, when he does this, you can just jump around. There is an actual, there's a cooler thing you can do there. Uh, you can actually just stand in the corner. If you do uh, the dash melee and then aim, because of the way your model is skewed, ow, you can dodge his uh, Omega Stream, whatever it's called. Omega Stream is obviously the, this game, but I don't remember what the name of that is. Uh, he also does Shine Sparks. Uh, but like I was saying, the, the gold lightning armor that he gets there is uh, it's entirely invincible, whereas the first one, you damage it over time to break through it. He does quite a bit of damage, uh, but... This is a really fun fight, and uh, as you might be able to tell, I've done it a lot. Uh, it's no longer much of a challenge to me, although I say that, and I'm at just over half health, so.
Oh, Ravenbeak is so cool. Samus knocks off one of his wings, so he just rips the other one off. No use to him anymore. I should have countered that. But uh, if you know this fight pretty well, you can get through it quickly. This. He'll summon this. And it will launch waves out of energy off. And it's really annoying to deal with, but you can just break it with a power bomb, and it'll even give you a nice little refill. And that's what I recommend doing, is just power bomb as soon as it appears. Uh, like a lot of fights, max button mashing is the best way to deal lots of damage, but it hurts me to do. Ow. I say max, but I'm not actually sure there is a limit. Uh, one thing is if you're using storm missiles on him, sometimes you won't have time after they launch to shoot the ball. But you can do this fight a bunch of different ways as far as how you attack. But I find storm missiles to be the best. Uh, eventually, once you've gotten his health down enough, he will do a finish counter like the other Chozo enemies. Uh, like the Chozo soldiers. If you screw it up... Oh. So cool. She drains Itarash and Ravenbeak of his energy, their energy. And she even goes through the crack that she made in his face to do it, in his mask. So cool. Incarnation, uh, Rage Incarnate. That's a good way to describe her. This is Ravenbeak X, a conglomeration of the Experiment, Kraid, and Ravenbeak. Uh, you can hear him saying Hadar Sen Ulman, power is everything. Uh, which I kind of talked over, but it's fine. He's repeating his last line just like uh, Quiet Robex did.
Oh no, a countdown! What a surprise! I love that she kills the X instead of, uh... Instead of absorbing it. Also, this is the Metroid suit. The Metroid DNA inside Samus has surged completely out of control and transformed her, transformed her into an organism that is essentially a Metroid. I love this suit. It's so cool. Hyperbeam. Samus unleashes her latent power, causing all arm cannon abilities to combine into a devastating beam capable of destroying anything in its path. Press and hold Y to continuously shoot. This is the third appearance of something called the Hyperbeam in the series, uh, but it's even more powerful than the previous examples. What I actually like to do in this room... By the way, we can't flash shift anymore. Uh, it's still... Oh, no, no, the Aeon abilities are all gone. We can't turn invisible either. I thought it still appeared, but we can speed boost. What I actually like to do is... I missed. It's, like, right at the center of that spike. There's some cool speed boost stuff you can do here. But, uh... Yeah, right there. Oh, the Hyper Beam, though, annihilates anything and everything. Uh, a lot of the blocks we're breaking here are Power Bomb blocks, but it doesn't matter. This Any breakable block breaks with the Hyper Beam. Not only that, enemies die on contact with us. You don't even have to use the screw attack. Oh, it's so cool. Obviously, the Metroid suit probably... I'll get to that in a sec. But I just love Samus, like, fully transforming into a Metroid. Let's just, like... Look at this suit for a sec. Oh, it is so fucking cool. Even the morph ball form has, like, teeth on it. Awesome. We still can power bomb and stuff, but you don't need to. You can just run around with the hyper beam, just, like, spamming it around. That's that's the way to do it. Uh, it's not clear why the planet is exploding. I would assume that it's something that Ravenbeak set up, where if he dies, the planet explodes. Just like a final fuck you to kill whoever killed him. Now, we can do this. And this is what I was thinking of before, where it does the cinematic speed boost. Because uh, we actually are in... We just passed through that area. Uh, these are sealed, so we can't get to the, L the shuttle or to the save room. Uh, but we just passed through... Like... This is where we were. Iterash crashed, so it's no longer on the map anymore. But we crossed all the way through here, got into the area that we'd been in before. You can get around. Uh, we didn't fall through here. These are pitfall blocks. It's just a tiny little area. It doesn't really matter. We can speed boost all the way up here. This is a hyper beam door, it now says. And yeah, we can cross through it by melting it. It's so cool. Uh, and actually, what you can do here is some cool speed boost stuff. Yeah, I did it. That's cool. You might be able to get a speed boost to go all the way through this section, but that was pretty cool. I'm happy with that. We just go through here. And there we are. For reasons not entirely clear, uh, Quiet Robe X helped us. Uh, he merged with, he let Samus absorb him, and in the process, he stabilized her Metroid DNA, is what seems to have happened. I hope he didn't get rid of it, 
I hope she still has her Metroid powers just under control now, because, well, the Metroid suit probably won't come back, at least not in full, in Metroid 6. I really hope her Metroid powers do. I hope you have energy absorption powers that are somehow incorporated into the gameplay. That's my biggest hope for Metroid 6. Which, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it uh, in this series, but Metroid 6 is in development. Just like a few months after Dread, Yoshio Sakamoto said they were already working on the next one, uh, which is very exciting. I hope we see some announcement for it in the next year or two. Ah, oh, this series has been so much fun. I love this game. One of my all-time favorite video games. Uh, and there aren't, like, many, if any, complaints about this game that I really agree are fair. I think this game is among the closest to perfect that I've ever seen. There are a few, like, minor bummers, uh, none of which I can think of right now, but I know there's a couple. But I am so excited to see where this series goes. Obviously Prime 4, but I'm even more excited for Metroid 6. Actually, I don't know if that's true. That's really hard to say. Because the Prime series is also fucking exceptional. All three, I think, are incredible games. Uh, and the fact that Retro is back again on 4, so hype. Ugh. But I just want to thank anyone who's watched this series. Uh, I don't think this series was quite as great as I was kind of hoping it was. Uh, I'm glad I was able to show all the things that I wanted to. There's still things I'd like to show in the bonus video, but I might not be able to. Uh, because there's a bunch of glitches that I just haven't ever performed myself. And if I can't pull them off, then I don't want to show them. I don't want to use other people's footage. I'll just link to it. Uh, but I'll try. I have no idea when that bonus video will come, though. Uh, I do still intend to make the X5 and X6 ones. Those will still happen at some point. Kenji Yamamoto, not the same one from Dragon Ball Z Kai. Dragon Ball Kai. Uh, but they will still happen. I've just <laughs> been sidetracked for months at this point. But yeah, this is the finale for the series, obviously. The bonus video will come at some point. But prior to that, on Monday, we will see a new series. Uh, I have essentially two that I'm deciding between. I think I know what it's going to be, though. I think I decided... Uh, during this episode. But this episode ended, being up, ended up being a little long. Not a, not a big surprise. Most of the videos in the series have been a little long. Uh, the last one was about an hour. The one before that was an hour and a half. Uh, and by the way, in the process of making this series, I recorded the longest video file I ever have. Uh, with, uh, when I was going through a second file to record a bunch of glitches and tricks and stuff, most of which were in, uh, the hour and a half long video, the one that had 15 big clips and a couple more small ones that I added in, in addition to the main footage, uh, the video file I made from that was five hours and 17 minutes long. And that's the longest I've ever gone recording at once. I was worried OBS would stop. Because uh, I, don't, I don't know if it has a system built in to automatically stop at a certain point. I guess the fact that the hours position has two digits means that of course it's not five. Uh, unless it's there's just a default setting there that's, that's lower for some reason. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think my commentary was a little up and down. Some of the episodes I think were pretty good. I I, I, I was really happy with uh, the commentary I had in the last video. I, I thought it was an interesting conversation. Uh, a few of them I haven't had as much to say like this one, but it's just I've just been relaxed, having a good time, so it's not too big a deal. One weird thing is that here, Samus is in the dread suit. Not the various suit or the gravity suit. It should be the gravity suit. Mm, I love every time we see Samus's face in this game. Clear time. Six hours, 14 minutes, and 22 seconds on hard mode. See you next mission. This is something they added in an update. The mission results screen. Difficulty, hard mode, clear time, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Total play time, eight hours and eight minutes. 
I don't know exactly what all that's counting. I assume deaths, but I don't... I, I, I assume that's even counting parts where I just reset or went out without saving, uh, which I did some of that for the Let's Play. That's a lot! Almost two full hours? Strange. Item collection, 100%. Energy, 13.99. Missiles, 285. Power bombs, 15. I died nine times. Total damage received, 31,000. Bosses defeated, 30. That's all bosses. There's 30 total. Time saved, 62. It's a lot more than normal for me. The endings, by the way, reference previous games. Hard mode has three, and normal mode has three. Uh, this is the four to eight hour ending. Other M. This is eight plus. Fusion. Uh, Dread mode unlocked. Yeah, I haven't beaten the game in hard mode before uh, on this profile, because I'm not on my main profile. But let's look at gallery. New content unlocking gallery. If you got extras, there's a couple things here, but gallery is the main thing. This is for each area that we finish with 100% items, aside from Iterash, which has none. These are the Chozo Archives. And yeah, I didn't unlock all the endings here. I'll have to switch to my other profile to show those, but... No, pressing all the wrong buttons. The Chozo Archives show the backstory here. This is Ravenbeak killing or defeating ME-01, and they use him to hack the rest of them. This is the Machin securing Kraid, somehow, either after being cloned, like I said, or somehow they got him from Zebes. This is Quiet Rogue experimenting on Z-57. This is Machin soldiers, presumably ones that are considered traitors, being executed, uh, forced into a pit with a monster to eat them while Ravenbeak watches. This is probably my favorite. Uh, it's a Machin Chozo without armor, having taken down uh, Corpius or another of his species. And there's clearly like teeth around his neck as like a war, as like a, a prize for the hunt. This is the one Machin soldier that returned having been infected by the X. Obviously that brought about the end of ZDR's population aside from Ravenbeak. By the way, it's not clear why Ravenbeak was never possessed by the X or Quiet Robe until after their deaths. Uh, I wonder if, like, like you could say he just didn't get, didn't let them get close enough because he's powerful, but Quiet Robe must have just been lucky to not get infected. Well, to be fair, you release the X after he's dead, so assuming uh, he was kept away while they before they were quarantined. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ravenbeak is the thing, and maybe he just fought him off. He's pretty cool. Uh, this is them hacking uh, the Emmy. I don't know if I've mentioned so far, and setting it to target Samus's DNA. There's a picture of her, and there's DNA there. Excelion Star Corporation is apparently named after the Excelion from Gunbuster. Also, there's the logo from Federation. I say Federation Force, but it's from before that. There's the Federation logo there in the top right. Uh, this is the Golden, the Elite Chozo Soldier. Uh rallying the troops. I'm not exactly sure what for. And this is my favorite here. This is unlocked for getting 100% an items total. And it has references to the whole series here. There's Adam Malkovich uh, looking a bit cooler. Kind of how he's described. Actually, he looks like he does in the manga. That's what it is. He's based on the manga version of him, not Other M. Uh, there's Quiet Robe and Ravenbeak, obviously from this game. There's Mother Brain from Super, specifically. Uh, there's Kraid, Ridley from across the series. There's the Metroid Queen from 2. There's a bunch of Zabesians and Metroids, and there's the baby in the top. Very, very cool. The endings we got were, again, Other M and Fusion. Which, the fact that Other M is here is part of why I still consider it the main series, because this game does. It's cool, just a shot of Samus fighting the clone. But I'm actually going to switch files to show that... Uh, if I go to Boss Rush over here, you can see Boss Rush, Survival Rush, and Dread Rush, which I'll actually go to my other profile uh, to show those. The, the actual run for Boss Rush will be in the bonus video. Uh, I don't want this video to go, too long, go on too long, and I do not have time for that. 
Uh, but I will do that. I'll probably do one run in each boss rush category. Uh, I've never done too well in Survival Rush, but I'll try. Uh, if you're curious about my best times, by the way, in Boss Rush, here they are. Uh, I'm pretty happy with a couple of these. Uh, a lot of them I could do a bit better, but 16, section, 16 seconds on the first Sentry Unit, that's pretty cool, I think. A minute 15 on Corpius is quite good. Ravenbeak, three minutes. Not bad fights here. Unfortunately, uh, on the Ferenia Sentry Unit, you can't use a speed boost because you start in the room. Uh, no, I didn't mean to start Survival Rush. Uh, you can practice Boss Rush and Dread Rush. You can't practice Survival Rush because that's sort of against the point. But Boss Rush, battle 12 bosses without stopping. Energy is not restored between battles, but weapon ammo is fully restored. It's these 12. Survival Rush, defeat as many bosses as you can before the timer runs out. Each victory adds time. You gain additional time by taking no hits and winning each stage of the Ravenbeak battle. These time bonuses decrease each cycle. Red Rush, battle 12 bosses without stopping. Any damage will kill Samus instantly. Weapon ammo is fully restored between battles. Uh, you unlock this by beating Dread Mode, and Dread Mode, uh, as I've mentioned, is insta-kill uh, on contact. Uh, my record for boss rush overall is 1350. The longest I've lasted in survival is only six, which is kind of pitiful, and I've never completed Dread Rush. Uh, Dread Mode, though, if I look at it here, No, I don't want to. I just want to show the new game screen. Alright, the four difficulties are... Rookie mode increases recovery from drops and reduces damage from bosses. Normal mode, the standard difficulty setting. Ex hard mode, a mode for expert players. Dread mode, the ultimate challenge where any hit results in a game over. It is ridiculously hard. It, it takes a lot to beat. Uh, I've done it once. And I don't really have much interest in doing it again, because <laughs> it's just pretty grindy. Uh, hard mode, I think, is a fun level of challenge. I recommend starting with normal mode, and I don't I don't recommend rookie mode. I just think it's boring. Normal's not that hard. You're a little fragile, but it won't take very long to get good enough at the game to do fine in normal. Uh, I've never actually played through in rookie mode, and I don't really care to. Rookie and hard were added in the same... Rookie and Dread Mode were added later. Uh, I think after Boss Rush, actually. All right, now the final thing for this video is I just want to look at the endings. I actually want to go to this file. Because in this file, I've gotten them all. Uh, as I said, the endings are in Normal Mode for over eight hours, four to eight, and under four. Hard Mode, over eight, four to eight, or under four. And then there's a bonus one, uh, I think, for getting the other six. But here are the endings. Metroid Zero Mission. A shot of Samus in her original Varia suit, I think. Uh, fighting off Metroids with the Ice Beam. Obviously, be the Varia suit. Uh, there's some dead Zabesians, which is fun. Metroid Samus Return. Uh, Samus in the sick gravity suit from Samus Returns fighting the uh, Queen Metroid. It makes sense it has the remakes here and not the originals. Super Metroid, Samus in the gravity suit fighting Mother Brain with the baby's particles from Other M floating. Other M, Samus in the Varia feature uh, fighting the clone of Ridley. Metroid Fusion, Samus standing off in the fusion suit against the SAX. Very cool. And Metroid Dread. I love this. Samus in the Metroid suit, draining the hell out of, draining the life out of Ravenbeak more accurately. In this shot, they show him with two hands instead of the arm cannon he normally has. Uh, just for added intensity. Oh, it's so cool. And the final bonus is exactly the same as the last Chozo Archives, but with Samus Sans Suit. It's the only appearance we see of Suitless Samus in this game, aside from the game over screen. Uh, and she looks notably less cutesy than uh, some of the other games. Uh, I think she looks great. And I just love this picture. I love her next to the baby there. Very cool. I like the glow on the purple parts of her suit. I'd also like if Metroid 6 has uh, 
the ability to play in the Zero Suit. What I actually want is other... is a... Uh, no. What I actually want is Metroid Prime 4. I, I'll talk a little bit about this. Uh, I want, like, Metroid Prime 4 to be more open world and have more options. I want to be able to, like, talk to NPCs and have quests and stuff. But I also want the ability to take off the suit at any time. And I'd love if there's specific upgrades you get that improve your uh, survivability in the, in the Zero Suit. And maybe there's certain areas where there's, like, some kind of interference that keeps the suit from being active. Uh, and I'd also like the idea if you could just stay in the Zero Suit permanently as, like, a challenge mode. Oh, I want that so bad. There's so many things I want for Prime 4. That's just a couple things I can think of now. But yeah, that's Metroid Dread. We've shown almost everything. The bonus video will have a handful of things. But yeah. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in something new.